JD here. Uh, just wanted to show you and do a box opening. I got the Maya Cycle one wheel bicycle cargo trailer. It's a lot smaller than my other trailer, so we're gonna carry a little less gear and hopefully it's gonna be easier on the trike. So I wanted to do a little uh, put together for you guys. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. So real quick, comes with the flags, which is great. Flag, one flag, sorry. Also comes with, looks like the fender. We have a fender in here. This is gonna be a quick put together video. We're not gonna do anything crazy or special. So it comes with a fender, you don't get splashed up with mud. All right. Also, when you're on Amazon, it'll actually ask you for a suggested purchase with the actual trailer is to get the um, actual axle that goes through your tire so you can clip on. You don't need to buy that extra add-on and it was 30 bucks so you probably don't wanna save it, uh, save your money a little bit. It actually comes with the trailer so you'll have that in here too. So that's great. We also have the sidebars. It's like a wheelbarrow basically so you can, when you put it together, you can use it off your bike as a wheelbarrow, really nice. Also, the other thing that it comes with, it comes with the actual bag. So we're gonna check that out too. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. All right, probably not even supposed to take that off, that's fine. Comes with some nice bungees. All right, so you got the bag right here. It's a pretty big bag, which is nice to fit in there. Basically, it's like a duffel bag. So that right here, you open it up, it's got a nice uh, solid zipper on it. A lot of people online said it was a cheaper zipper. Um, I used to stitch stuff myself. This is actually a pretty good zipper. So uh, it's pretty solid and uh, yeah, it's got a lot of room in it. So there's the bag for you guys. We got the instructions manual, but nobody reads that stuff. So we're gonna get rid of that. All right, then ah, we got some more cardboard. Make sure you check it. All right, now you got your pivot point. This is what connects to the bike. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and slide this in here. Boom, it goes in just like that. So when you turn your bike, you can turn, you'll have a nice swivel point on it, okay? Then you have your tire, right here. Sweet. All right, we got our tire. We can put that on the bike and we'll be ready to go. We can pump it up. It's just a simple design. It just sits on here, just like this. And then you're ready to rock and roll. Let me just go ahead and unscrew it. I'll get us in here and rocking. <laughs> There we go. Lock right in. As you can probably hear, we got some dogs upstairs. They're going crazy. They know that we're here. All right, sweet. I got the tire on. You want to tighten that, but it spins pretty good. I haven't pumped the tire up yet. And uh, you're gonna connect it up to the bike. Right here. You got a little spot to put your screw. It's a lock nut. Just like that, there's a little spot for it. Boom. All right, you wanna pause it. Nice part about this, is that it comes with this stuff. I got my sleeping bag, I got my tent, and I got my air mattress on here. I'm gonna put a lot more stuff on this, obviously, too, in the bag, and yeah. So, also, once you get your bicycle and you hook it up, you're gonna take this out, and you're gonna use this axle instead of what's on your bike. The reason being is this actually hooks up right on the outside of it so that you can ride the bike and it will sit on there just like that for you guys. So, and it's gonna be, it's actually gonna be pretty smooth. It's wobbly right now, but it's not gonna be when it's on the bike. The bike's more stable, you're sitting on it. Um, and that's uh, that's what we got. It comes with the uh, nuts and everything that you need for it. So you're just gonna put those on and you're gonna be good to go. And that's all we have. Have a great day. Love you guys, JD out. Subscribe to the channel. And also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like us on Facebook. Okay, thank you to our camera girl, Stephanie, too. I'll see you guys later. Bye.